Yo, what it do? This is your boy Chizzy, and I'm gonna take you behind the beat for Jennifer Lopez, the same girl. I know this is gonna sound cliche, but the track is really kind of simple. Um, it's really that main melody you hear throughout the whole thing. Da -da 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 -da. That and then the uh, the drums. So I'm gonna break it down into sections. Um, this is a pretty big session. So I'm gonna start with the strings, and then I'm gonna go into the horns, uh, the synths, the pianos, and then the drums. We'll save the drums for last. Um, what really made this track big is the layering. So the first thing I'm gonna start with, this is the very first thing I played uh, when I started making this track, and that is the strings you hit at the very beginning. And basically what I did was I built on top of it, so I might have started out with that, but then I had another string come in that did the same thing, except had a different sound. Um, the key to this was layering. So I started out with that first, then after that, I literally just started building to it. So let's take a look at some of the other strings that I got going on here. And that's really it in the hook. But like I said, the, the main part of that was just layering. So those are the strings that are in the hook. In the verse, I kind of broke it down. Instead of the strings being the focal point, I wanted them to kind of sit in the background, but really the piano and the other things be the forefront. But um, I'll play what strings are playing uh, when you hear it. The free hook of this is like my, my, favorite, my favorite part. Uh, that and the bridge. So on this part, I got a couple different things going on. Um, I have like a little counter melody coming in. It's like dun 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 dun. Um, and then in between that, uh, Righteous added this cool little string swirl. It's like I'm gonna see if I can bring that up. I think I got it called string lead. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's what's going on there. I basically have that dun 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 dun. I got, I'm using uh, some bass strings for that, and um, I just layered those. And then uh, Wright just put in this, uh, this cool crescendo at the end, uh, leading into the hook, which gives it that crazy build. Um, here we go. Now, I'm gonna go over to the strings and the bridge. In here with the bridge, uh, originally it was only a couple strings and like I said, I just went back and layered it. So one of the things that uh, that uh, Amadeus was saying that JLo's people were mentioning was they wanted to sound like a ghetto symphony. So when I think ghetto symphony, I think horns, I think strings, timpani, I, I just think like a, a big band. So that's, that's what I went with. Um, now, the last thing on the musical side is the uh, piano. So the pianos weren't originally in here, but um, like I said, once we found out that they were using it and wanted everything bigger, this is one of the things uh, that I added in. So I'll play you what I'm playing there. Um, so yeah, that's your piano. And then I'll take a look at the, uh, the bridge because I got some cool things going on here. Uh, in the bridge, this is the pianos. So yeah, that's the piano. Um, like I said, Ryan had did a, uh, he had played another version of that, but um, once JLo had the idea of the, the rooftop scene with the whole band in there, she said she wanted, you know, something to kind of move like a classical type piano player. So I just kind of went into the MIDI of what he did and just add a little bit more uh, movement in there. And that's where it came up. And uh, yeah, that's the pianos in there. Now to the drums, my favorite part. Um, 
really after I did the melody when I was making the track after I did that melody that I started out with the next thing I did immediately was the drums and I built the drums and then I went back and put all the other bells and whistles in here so um, I'm gonna just play the drums you got your kick and then I got this nasty 808 on it so that's your kick and then I got some Got a couple different snares going on. I got like three different snares, actually four, and then a clap. Then I got my hi hats. Then I got my shaker here. Um, then I got some other things to wear. So once I had the basic groove going, I had different things going on to kind of give you the feel. So I have kind of like this snare feel in between there. Play that. got that then I did the kind of the trap hi-hats that you got going on I used ultra beat to uh, program that so I have that and then uh, I basically drop some of those elements for the verse so then in here you lose the uh, the trap hi-hats and that's why it gives it this calm feel and then when it comes back in for the hook you got the full element there and um, really that is it. I know it looks like a, a lot is going on here, but a lot of it is just like little ear candy and uh, small details to the track. But um, essentially, yeah, it's strings, horns, pianos, drums, and uh, percussion. And that's it. And like I said, the plugins I used was Nexus, um, Native Instruments, LAS, Scoring Strings, uh, Session Strings, and um, oh, yeah. Uh, Symphobia. I love that program. Um, and yeah, they, there you have it, man. This is this is it. This is uh, Jennifer Lopez's same girl. Yeah, thank you guys for uh, tuning in, sitting down with me as I break down this track. I want to say shouts out to all the fans that's out there that's been supporting the song, tweeting about it on Twitter and Facebook. Shouts out to everybody. Um, shouts out to Amadeus, uh, Righteous, and Louis Mayo, the man behind the camera hooking this up. Uh, make sure you follow us on Twitter. My Twitter page is twitter.com slash your boy Chizzy. Make sure you follow Amadeus. That's twitter.com slash producer Amadeus. And make sure you follow Righteous. That's twitter.com slash Righteous1. And that's Righteous spelled with a Y. All right. I want to thank you guys once again. You know, hopefully I'll be able to bring some more of these to you soon. And so uh, in the meantime, stay tuned. Dealing with the attitude.